Hey friends, Kate Attack here. Welcome back for another episode of Dishonored 2. So, we learned some sad news last episode. That apparently, my favorite buddy from the first game, Samuel, he died. I was not happy about that. I am not happy about that. Um, he was kind of my favorite. Um, you know, so that was, that was a huge bummer. I really, really loved him. And Corvo literally, like, owes his life to him, so. <sighs> wow. I hope he, I hope he was, he went out peacefully. Um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, I guess more along the story, we took out, uh, Ramsey? What's his name? Ramsey, uh, Mortimer? Mortimer Ramsey? Yeah, we took him out. We were, um, where is he? Oh, he's here. Yeah, we've locked him in here. He's gonna be just stuck here. There's food, there's a bed, there's a toilet. Yeah, he's gonna be just fine. He's gonna be just fine. Let's make sure there's nothing else I'm missing in here before I, uh, move on. All right, I think it's time. Oh, I'm nervous. Go to Dunwall Streets. Look at that ring. All right. Delilah and Luke or and Duke Luca Abel have taken the tower. Dunwall is no longer a safe place for you. Escape the city by meeting with a boat captain down at the docks. Right. I think I, I think I read Until that. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. Ow! Just hit my hand on my desk. It's fine. Oh wow, look at me, I have a gun now. That's right, because I, I picked it up by the door there. <gasps> the Pendletons! The fucking Pendletons! <gasps> oh, it's worth money! Okay, cool. I gotta close these. It's gonna bother me. There's a clock. Alright. Was this one that Corvo broke? That'd be funny. Like, lore-wise. Ooh, I did not mean to crawl inside of it. Uh, the Tower of Dunwall. For over a century, Dunwall Tower has been the capital of the Isle of Crystal and the seat of power across all the isles of the Empire. Rulers have come and gone, each adding something. Hey, we read this in the first game. I totally remember. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. Okay. Uh. Ski tumbler. Money looks different. Um. Okay. Let's let's take a little peek see. I like the little animation that they, they have her do. That they have her, you know, come in and out of. I've gotta get out of Dunwall. Oh, to the streets. You can fall from a moderate height without taking damage. Moderate, huh? I feel like that's is that too moderate? Okay, I think I've that's. Gotta get away. I should talk to the captain of that ship. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to. So it wants me to go that way. Um. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna learn what's safe to to jump and what's not. Um. Oh god. Uh. <laughs> I panicked and hit the trigger. <laughs> I wanna go there. Uh, it's fine, I'm just panicking. Somehow Delilah turned my father to stone. I will find a way to undo it. Mm-hmm. Crazier things have happened. It's just me, it's fine. I wonder if I get to see Piero. Is that 
whale oil? Kind of looks like whale oil. Whale, whale oil. Whale oil. Whale oil. Oh, I hear somebody. Oh. Execute assassinations or non lethal takedowns. Okay, so I can do a non lethal. Okay, drop down onto an enemy from above to avoid taking damage from a fall. Press right trigger just before landing to perform a drop assassination, or press RB to perform a non lethal takedown that will leave the enemy unconscious. Okay, I don't remember there being a non lethal version of the drop, but. Traitorous dog. Damn! That was vicious. There we go. No one will see him, right? Wow, that's cool. I really, I really appreciate the the non-lethal takedown. That's that's from above. That's that's. I don't think that was in just like the first Dishonored. I don't think you could do that. I think you could only kill. So I really appreciate being able to drop down and do it. Cause I, I never got to. Cause I tried really hard to be, you know, low chaos. The city is crawling with the Duke's men. Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's missing. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Caldwin has apparently fled the tower. Ooh. We've got to find her. That's it, we've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. Okay. Ooh, stay ready. I want you in place just after the Duke and our new Empress make their appearance. Things will happen fast. Do your part and there's a share of the spoils for you and the others. Turn on me now and I'll ask the Duke to send his assassin after your dear old parents. Trust me, the so-called crown killer is the last dinner guest you want in your home. So... Mortimer is the one who knows him and the crown killer is Dukes? Is, is the Dukes? I might have messed up. Huh? What is going on here? Stop! <laughs> that turned out okay. Wow. Okay, so So apparently you get uh, like a second chance if you if you bunk up. If you if you get them like off their guard. You can you you have another chance to just go non-lethal. I definitely won't get ghost. <laughs> definitely won't get ghost, but that's okay. Do they have that? I assume that's still like a thing you can get, like a like a classification. Oh, there's a guy. Huh. <sighs> okay. Yeah, yeah, eat. All right, so once again, City Watch is against me. And it looks like some of them look to be loyal because they're dead. Looks like a healing potion. Yeah, um... It looks like some of these guys were loyal. Holy 
shit, that is so cool! That is straight up so cool. You have like that extra chance to, to fucking take them out without being... <gasps> that is straight up amazing. Mm. That makes me so happy. You, you, you have no idea. You probably have some idea, but it's, it's fucking cool. All right, Captain Ramsey's orders. All City Watch personnel assigned to posts in the immediate vicinity around Dunwall Tower. On the anniversary tomorrow, we'll be receiving guests from across the Empire. Most are detailed in your itineraries, but there is an, an there is an unlisted contingent from Karnaka. It's last minute, but important. None other than the Duke of Circonos will be traveling with an entourage that includes VIP guests and some rather exotic equipment aimed at impressing our Empress. Let them pass and don't bother harassing them with the usual inspection nonsense on my orders. And if you spoil the surprise, I'll have your head. Disseminate this note to all squads. Captain Mortimer Ramsey, First Officer, Night Watch. You little butt. Uh, oh wow, that's hard to see. Okay. Mm, what is that? A grenade! Ooh, okay. Cool. Alright. What is this? Oh, is this like a... A shoe shine? Oh, is that signaling a train coming? Me! I could totally jump on one and ride it. That would be a really safe way to get to the docks, I think. But I really want to explore all of this. I feel like if I ride the train, I'm gonna miss this. Okay. Breakable door. Oh, look at this. I want inside. Yeah, see, here's all the places I would miss if I... Yo. That's cool. Alright, I actually... I hear screaming and cry- Oh, no! Okay. Great. There we go. Wait, what is that? See, I'm hearing people screaming. <gasps> Umberwood fish statue. All right. Um <gasps> Bastillion peach. Ooh, audiograph. Kiela, sorry you missed us. I'll be taking the children away from Dunwall earlier than expected. A few weeks before the upcoming anniversary of Empress Jessamine's death. Things are about to get bad, and I'm not just talking about the crown killer. Besides, there's profit to be made bringing new silver miners down south. So arrangements must be made. Ta for now. So someone knew. Someone else knew. What did I see? A lucky something? Lucky Spallerite? Spallerite? Oh, it's just worth money. Okay. Thought maybe one of these would be like a secret. But I guess not. Oh. Ten coins. All right, great, all right. Hmm. 
I wonder how many other places I could go to. Any of you found harboring Emily Caldwin will be fined and arrested. Oof. People of Dunwall, stay in your home. You're advised to stay indoors during this time of unrest. Uh huh. I hope nobody sees me in here. Oh God. Can I get in here? Oh, oh! I thought I could. I almost could. That would have been a nice little, like, hidey hole that nobody would ever think to look, probably. <sighs> Alright, so I think I can definitely just ride those all the way to the docks, man. I think that might be my option here, or the best option to... Oh god! Oh god! I imagine that? No, I'm sure. Oh! <laughs> Thank god, I totally bugged that one up. Well, I did totally. I got I got pretty close. Must have been that guy, huh? Like, I don't know. Yeah, definitely that I guy. Alright, move along. Move along, little doggy. Yeah, that's right, keep going. Yawn yawn. Oh god, can I get to it? It. My god! Is there food in here? I should just- oh, there's a crate! Oh, it's empty. Mm -hmm. Will water heal me? No, well... <sighs> Damn me for just eating all the food I see! Tisk tisk. All right. There we go. We should be able to jump up top and just ride it all the way over. I... I hope? We won't bunk it up this time? <laughs> Ugh. Should be relatively easy. I just tried to rush it. I I did not get there soon enough to to be like prepared for it. So I think this will be the safest way. Cause I can always like jump off. Probably. I'll have to find a place to jump off. I I have no idea. There's like a rooftop I can. Oh, here it is. All right, ready? That's my jump. A. Okay. Look at that! Ooh, there's some places I want to go! <gasps> okay, alright, apparently I can only go so far. Um... Break. Um. Uh. 
No one will ever know that I'm here. <laughs> Getting so one can't even breathe no more. Hello? Oh no. Citizens of Dunwall. Listen up. For the sake of your family, turn over all information concerning Emily Caldwin and Corvo Atano. Wanted for murder and treason. Murder and treason? That's bullshit. Oh. Mm. Nothing there. Damn it! I want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. I am tired of all this hullabaloo. I pay good money to make sure things like this don't happen. Don't see me. What? Somebody's not feeling well. <gasps> no one will ever know. I I'm just a dumpster kid. I just live in the dumpster. Yep, that's me. <sighs> okay, so that bitch will tell on me. Good to know. Come on. Go away. Be gone. Thank you. That's for certain. I need to take care of this old hag. Some kind of trouble in this part of town? Honestly, why can't they keep all that riffraff in a separate place? Oh, oh, just, one after one. Oh. just getting started. <gasps> oh, okay, there's nobody in here. Oh, but I can eat some food. Heal myself. <laughs> Um... All these pretty ass paintings, man. Ooh! Whale statue. Okay, so somebody went upstairs. Or somewhere? God, I miss Dark Sense. Just being able to see literally everything. <laughs> That did not look like a very. Oh, there's a bro. Was the time when I could go to sleep without wondering if I'd wake up. Wow. I like their little animations. Okay, let's go up here. Here, somebody whistling. 
You know, maybe there's a rooftop place I could go. Oh god. Wow, I can move pretty fast with a body. Wow, look at me go. Here, you're just taking a nap. I just hear screaming. All the time, just screaming. Oh, I'm gonna scream if I hit my finger one more time. <laughs> Alright, so I know there's definitely one more guy up here. I don't know. Help! Someone help! <coughs> what? He kill him? You're not fit for the watch uniform. What happened? What? I want to know. When was my last auto save? This one. I want to see. He did kill him. Wow, okay. Okay, so the guard did kill him. I'm not fit for the watch uniform. Wow. I wonder if you could save the journalist. Grand killer strikes again. Yep, we read this. Grand killer strikes again. That's a that was an interesting looking owl. God, I want to save the frickin' journalist! I want to save him! <sighs> but I don't have any saves that are far enough back. Ah, uh, poo. Damn it, okay, one day... I'll save him. Because, I mean, I want to replay this from Corvo's perspective, so I I don't know if I'll even be able to- I don't know. I'll have opportunities. <laughs> Note from the chief editor, Kent. Don't take it personally, but I'm not publishing your story about mechanical soldiers down in Karnaka. I'm not questioning your sources or your writing, but some moonstruck natural philosopher is uh, making marionettes in his basement isn't really news. I've done some research on this Kieran Jindosh you mentioned. He was driven out of the Academy of Natural Philosophy years ago, so he's hardly a credible threat. Until one of his inventions actually kills someone, he's not worthy of our ink. You should focus on the Crown Killer case instead. If the Imperial family is really ordering those murders, I want us to be the ones to expose it. Or who expose it? Simon. Hmm. Damn, I feel so bad for the journalist. Like, ugh, damn. I maybe could have saved him. Oh, it's worth money, okay. Grandfather clock. Closed. 
Okay, so I want to go in there. Can't be that hard to get there, right? Can't be that hard. Okay, so we're gonna wait for this. Uh, maybe we'll just go down the stairs. I probably shouldn't be running, but. I'm sure, I'm fine here. Whoops. <laughs> All right. No citizens allowed, huh? <gasps> oh, God! I wanted. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. No. Okay, we're gonna have to be like stupid careful. I can't do this. I can't. We gotta be like sneaky little You're biscuits. Not fit for the watch uniform. I gotta be. Wow. Wow, you throw far. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any other things to read, honestly. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got that. All right, I think we can go downstairs now, and... There's gotta be a doorway I can get to that's above... that I won't have to, like, struggle with. Because I want to go in there. I want to see what all the hullabaloo is about. Now see me. I, uh... Maybe I should hire my own bodyguard. I don't feel safe anymore. Oh my god, is she like the Karen of, of the 1800s? Now see me. I don't see... Yeah, that's the only way in. Hard to get a good lungful. I'm exhausted, and it's just been one gala after another. I wonder it. Just getting started. If there's got to be some good stuff, I'm gonna save it. Um. Killer doesn't come back. Nasty bit. <laughs> okay, so apparently they are very in tune with conversations. Cause this guy was like mid conversation with this bro. <gasps> and oh my god, okay. <laughs> he was mid conversation. Mid conversation. And if you interrupt him, he's like, oh no, buddy, what happened? And I didn't sign up to fight some freak like the Crown Killer, the cannibal and whatnot. Oh god. What are you doing? 
Oh, come on. Mm, nothing, man. Yeah, yeah, turn around. Yeah, friggin' nutcracker. Nothing. Nobody saw anything. Nobody! <laughs> Nobody saw anything! Please, nobody. What? What is? Why is he walking backwards? They're not very smart. Oh no, is he coming out here? No! not getting ghosts, but at least I'm not killing anybody. <gasps> What's going on? There he is. Let's have a look. Hey, coward! Come fight face to face! Keep your eyes peeled. Don't get I don't know how to use my <laughs> You aren't going anywhere. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> oh no. I may have to accept that I can't go in here easily. I don't have like any powers to assist me. Also, this trash is floating. Um, but you know, we do. We're, we are over this. This game just keeps going. I am having so much fun. <laughs> Uh, we do have to call it though. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Love your face. Take care of yourself and we'll see you next time. <laughs>